Yeah. You know, you know what I'm saying? I've been thinking about doing like, uh, uh, you know, like Van Halen uh, covers country style. I've always found that those licks translate really, really well. Like hybrid picked, sped up with a little, little snap on them. Anyhow, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. So I did this uh, um, uh, like ladies night uh, live thing a couple Tuesdays ago tremendous live stream it got unblocked make sure you go check that out and one of the big takeaways from that uh that night was the high women and now while we did a different tune everybody said dude you gotta do the chain so i pulled it up and obviously i know it's a fleetwood mac song i've actually never learned the tune but it's a howard stern version so we'll see if it gets blocked or not um again if you're new to this channel uh, it's not a straight reaction channel. It's kind of like you enter the guitar uh, teacher's zone. You say, I want to learn this song. You figure it out. You get as much as you can, get the broad strokes, and send you on your way. So this is the high women. Now, I know that uh, um, Amanda, one of the, uh, Shire is one of the singers in here, which is um, Jason Isbell's wife uh, playing fiddle. So I know that. Um, so I know he's he's in her backing band, so like, Love it. Let's do it. Miking the kick, like with with the uh, with the foot that's on the wooden box. Awesome. And look at those shoes. Bass player with the kick. harmonies are killer real quick just because i've never learned this let me let me give you let me see if we can figure out exactly what's going on here it's e minor all day so here on a second So it's got a cool thing that happens. Basically, uh, this is this is D over E. So it's E minor, but we're accentuating the D majorness of it. What the hell am I talking about? Basically, uh, it comes in E, other E, over to D, and then the F sharp, which is the major third of D. So it's really this sound, right? So it's a D minor seven, land if you will right but then it hammers on from the d to the e to create that yes we're solely in an e minor land here so it's like right and you can finger it a bunch of different ways um and then when it comes out of here you got that flat three one Flat seven five, flat three, pull to the root. Yeah. Here we go. Listen to the wind blow. Watch the sun rise. Listen. 
Listen to that swell on the watch. Listen to the wind blow. Watch the sun rise. Run in the shadows. Damn your love. Damn your lies. And if you So, a couple things to note. I know that I didn't get the uh, verse and the chorus chords yet, didn't show them to you, uh, just because I wanted to hear them sing. Damn, they sound fantastic. So, check this out. You got the two guitars. Now, he's playing, Jason's playing in standard. Forgive me, uh, other guitar player, I, I don't know uh, your name. Uh, and he has the capo on the second fret. So, doing all those, doing all those pull-offs, right? Uh, to the capo and during the verses you can hear them and see them as the beauty of video alternate between the two so the two guitars are not playing the same thing right you have you have Jason doing the uh, right while the other guitar right doing the low stuff you got to get your arrangement straight like that um, let's let's and, and the other thing the bass player is not in on these parts. He comes in when it starts to build. Love that. Listen to the wind blow. Down comes the night. So your bass player's not playing. Run in the shadow. Cool thing that happens in here. You're in E minor, right? You're still in E minor through the verse. Goes over to A. Quick jump to D, or sorry, G, sorry. And before it goes to then D to C. So we're solely, we're solely in E minor, right? E minor is your six, right? We're talking, the key of G is your one, right? So E minor, relative minor six, D's five, C's four, G's one, e, right? That's what's happening here. A is your, it's really your two, A minor. But check out the quick jump to G. You really got to snag this right. In the shadows, damn your love, damn your lies. Got to get those. That nice little rake. Break the silence, damn the dark, damn the light. You can do that little look, that little lick over there. Did you hear that? Did you hear what she just did? Right in the middle of that. I can't still hear you say you would never break the chain. Never break the chain. You don't love me now. You will never love me again. I can't still hear you say you would never break the chain. Break the chain. All right. Ooh, I forgot about that. All right. 
Couple cool things in here to note. So again, arrangements are everything, especially in a stripped down thing like this, you gotta sound big. When it goes into this chorus, it's E, or sorry, A. And then it goes into the, there, look. So here's their E, right? But you can't see the other guitar player. He's doing a big open E, but you see Jason on the side doing it like this. Right, creating that full stack. And then, bass player goes to C, and you see Isbel back there doing C over G. So if you think of this, right? This C, this G, and then the lower C is what the bass is playing. So you're playing that full stack. If you look down the piano, it's the whole spread. That's why it sounds so big. And then it slides it up to the D, right? So that progression, again, A, E, C over G, D over A, right? Trying to make as big as possible, right? Trying to, trying to fill in all the gaps. What a cool addition to this. I Obviously I know this tune, but I'd never learned it before. Like what a cool thing to add. Just throwing a C in there, right? Throwing in that flat six if E is your, if, if e is your one, right? And then a, pulling F sharp to E. Now remember the song started with that with that F sharp, implying that D over E, right? Or that E minor seven-ness, right? So to have it go to this, that's really makes me think of D seven, right? But it's C and F sharp over that E. Brutal, brutal. So you got you got a root, you got the, the minor third, let's just assume it's in there, but, but then you got a nine, flat six. I don't know how they stumbled on it, but basically, you know, you played a C major here before, C and E, you got it here, so C over E, but then with the, that little pull back to one, evil and awesome. Like Isbel's shoes. There she is. Sounds so, she always has such a haunting fiddle sound. Yeah, so, so A, B to C, walk, walk back down, G, a, B, E, right, so, and then she's riffing in E, F sharp, G, just one, two, three, one, two, flat, three, E minor. Rhythm section is locked in.
chills there. At, chills there at the end. What a, I mean, those are some serious four-part harmonies. Um, but again, this is a simple tune. E minor. You know, you have an A and a G, C and a D in there, right? All the kids are playing. It's all fun, right? You're not really moving around. Uh, but that one little addition there. This, this, this whole, this whole thing. Haunting, haunting, really, really is a great thing to touch back on. That F sharp, like that was in the beginning, even though that C wasn't in there. It's just, your ear didn't know you wanted it until you got it, and now you can't imagine it without it, right? It's just one of those things. Um, and having Amanda finish with that fiddle part, it's just the perfect little haunting, haunting little icing on the cake. And then... Obviously, you know, you have uh, the rhythm section just locked in the back, you know, at the end there, uh, just grooving hard, letting the vocalists, vocalists just go for it. And their blend is just out of control good. Um, the high women. Love it. Absolutely love it. Um, uh, I don't really know what else to say about it. Please drop links in the comments uh, for where I should go next. Uh, thank you for liking. Please subscribe if you don't have it. Ring the bell. It not only helps with the algorithm, but you'll know when we go live, so you get to actually come and do these requests live, and you get to actually pick the next one. Um, and, uh, and that's it. Except if you want to support the channel more, you're looking for a, uh, a community that inspires you, motivates you to keep this thing in your hands every day, I would invite you to click the first link. Uh, join me and so many others on my website, GuitarGate, for all my lessons and courses. It's just 10 bucks, and obviously supports all the free stuff here on YouTube. And <laughs> definitely we'll be seeing them and Jason um, if real life resumes and you all come through Baltimore. You better believe it. Cheers. Man, I hope this doesn't get blocked. I'm stern. That would really be unfortunate because that was awesome.